Pastor Sharon, what are you going to be doing during this lockdown? Well, I'm going to be locking, I'm going to be going into a lockdown with God. And the first statement that I'm going to, going to make to you is I am definitely in this lockdown going to make spiritual progress. That's unequivocally, I must make this statement to you that I, in this lockdown, am going to make, I am going to make spiritual progress. So where does that come from, Pastor Sharon? Well, let me read you this magnificent scripture out of the Amplified Bible. So regardless of what's going on, regardless of circumstances, Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19 is just magnificent. Though the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit on the vine, though the product of the olive fails. That's, that's, these are things in our life in terms of what we can relate to, but that was what they related to in, in their day. But my, my things, even though I don't see the results yet, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there are no cattle or there are, isn't anything happening in my world, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. There's choice again. Yet I will. Yet I will rejoice. I'm just thinking now of those three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they would not bow, they would rather burn than bow to another God and serve another God. That's a dead idol. And, and the king called them when they wouldn't bow to and worship another God. And they said to the king, O king, our Lord, our God, our God, that's what they said. Our God will deliver us. But even if he does not, we will not bow. So even if the circumstances don't change, I'm not going to bow. That's choice. Powerful choice that God has given us that we can choose. And so we know what happened. The furnace got heated up even seven times hotter. These are, this, these are not fairy tales, people. These are real things that happened to real people like you and I. And they got thrown into the furnace. And the fourth man showed up with them. The Lord Jesus himself showed up with them in the furnace. And, brought, and the king called them to come up because he saw one in the furnace and the fire with him like as of the Son of God. That's, I mean, that delighted God, like that cry of David to cry to God for help because he knew his voice would come in his ears. Delighted God and God came. And God heard the words of Shadrach, Meshach. He heard their words to the king under great threat and intimidation. And God just came down. Jesus just came down into the fiery furnace with him. It says here, though it doesn't, though the Though the product fails, though the flock cut off, though things are cut off, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will exult in the victorious God of my salvation. The Lord, see what he, he says here. The Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery, my invincible army. He makes my feet like hinds feet and will make me to walk not to stand still in terror, but to walk and make spiritual progress. So that's my point. What are you going to be doing during this time of lockdown, Pastor Sharon? I am definitely going to be making spiritual progress. I am not going to stand still. I am going to walk. I'm gonna make spiritual progress. I'm going through my new open door. I'm walking spiritually speaking. And I will make spiritual progress upon my places of trouble. I am bold in a time of trouble. So what am I going to do during this lockdown? I will not cease to speak the prophetic word. I will not cease. I will not be found ceasing on a daily basis to speak. 
I praise you for my new open door. I praise you for the supernatural increase. I thank you, Father, for wonders and marvels that you're doing in my life. I praise you, Lord, that it's today and every day I'm experiencing extraordinary I'm, I'm experiencing your extraordinary manifestations of your greatness and your goodness in my life, Lord. That's what I will be doing. That's what I will be found doing during this lockdown. I'm going to be focused on my projects. Project struck. You will find me every day striking. You will be find, finding me every day spiritually conditioning myself because in that striking is my declaring is my praying and is my praising, and that's my spiritual conditioning. You will be finding me I will, uh, every day in my celebration, project celebration. Rejoicing, praising, hallelujah. What are you going to be doing during this lockdown, Pastor Sharon? I'm going to be watching Pastor John every day, morning, midday moments, and then meditating. I'm not going to be watching the news listening to the news, speaking the news. I'm not going to be found doing that. I may, there may be little snippets of that, but that's not what I'm going to be expending my energy on during this lockdown. I'm going to be walking. It's one of Pastor John's six points. I'm going to be walking, speaking, and seeing my covenant future. I'm definitely going to be staying in the messages. I'm definitely going to be receiving my instructions from every message, every Sunday when it comes. Pastor John said, you, you keep Psalm 91 before you. That's one of the things I'm doing. Pastor John spoke a few Sundays ago about you're going to find yourself at a Red Sea and you're going to say, but Lord, I came through the blood. I've, I've come all this way and now to face a Red Sea? looks impossible and he said that's the time when you hold on to the the prophecy that's when you hold on to that prophetic word this is my time for supernatural increase that's when you hold on to it and then he made this statement he said God's brought you to this Red Sea so that he can absolutely destroy it and he can show you who he is and so this might be one of the Red Seas we're all finding ourselves in front of Lord, we've come all this way from last year with the prophetic word, and now we find ourselves here in lockdown, at global, everything. It doesn't change one single thing about all of the messages. In fact, it enhances everything. It enhances everything. I was just sharing earlier on with some people how absolutely amazing and how smart God has been to actually give us the word early through Brother Jerry, 2020, that year where he, God is going to open up a new door and we're going to experience supernatural increase like never before and we're continuing in marvels and wonders. So that by the time we believe that report, we believe the report of the Lord that came to us and we filled our hearts and our mouths with it and we were speaking about it and we were listening to the messages coming from Pastor John. So then when this news came of the corona virus. We were already immunized. We already had received immunity from it. It already could not penetrate our hearts because our hearts were so full already of life. It's wonderful. We found ourselves with a strong immunity system already in place. And um, so I'm going to definitely be staying in the messages. I'm definitely going to continue to let our songs penetrate and permeate my being. Um, yeah, definitely I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be very alert to every sneaky, tricky thing that the enemy would want to bring to me at this time. Because his desire is for me to make no progress at this time just to, you know, go into, instead of going into new places and spaces, I'm just, you know, perhaps uh, going into a place of comfort again because I'm considering my current status 
instead of moving forward in discomfort into my covenant status, I may be going back to my comfort in this lockdown. No, I'm going to be very alert because his desire is for me to not only make no spiritual progress, but his desire is for me to regress. Not progress, but regress. And I'm going to turn this lockdown that's happened in the natural, I'm going to turn it on him. If you ask me, what are you going to do during this lockdown, Pastor Sharon, I'm here to tell you what I'm going to do. And I'm not doing this because I'm Pastor Sharon. I'm doing this because I'm a son of God. And that's what a son of God should be doing. So his desire, I'm turning this on him. I'm not on the defense. I'm not going to be on the defense at all. I am on the offense with my faith, striking, declaring, speaking, seeing, unchaining myself from my current status with my faith. Just all those wonderful points of Pastor John. Um, I'm on the offense with my faith. I have his word and I have his Holy Spirit. What else will I be doing? Well, I'll definitely, as I've said before, I'll be declaring and praying. I will be declaring and praying. I've written here Psalm 116. Let me see what is there that is so wonderful for us to look at. Psalm 116. Where are you, Psalms? There we go. Psalm 116. I will definitely be declaring and praying. Oh, yes, beautiful Psalm. Verse one, I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayers. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayers, because he has inclined his ear to me, therefore will I call upon him. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to definitely be declaring and praying. And then I've got here Psalm 118. I'm going to be praying. and praising. All right, okay, I didn't mark that properly in my Bible, so. So another thing that I will definitely be doing is I will definitely be praising and rejoicing in the Lord every day. So it's declaring everything in victory. It's praying for the, man, for the evidence, and then it's praising and rejoicing. I'm definitely going to be praising and rejoicing in the Lord every day. I'm going to be singing. I'm going to be worshiping. Okie dokie. Psalm 149. I'm going to be worshiping. Praise the Lord. I'm going to sing unto the Lord a new song. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to be joyful in my king. I'm going to praise his name. I'm going to sing praises to him. I'm going to be joyful in glory and I'm going to sing aloud upon my bed. I'm going to let the high praises of God be in my mouth. And I'm going to let the two-edged sword, which is the word of God, be in my mouth. And the, the result of that is it will bind kings with chains and execute the judgment written. Glory to God. So I'm definitely going to be found praising, rejoicing, worshiping, singing, and I will definitely be giving him thanks. There's just, um, um, there's just something that's been happening to Pastor John and I, and I believe it's gonna, you're going to have the same experience. We are experiencing such glorious times in giving God thanks, thanksgiving to God. I'm definitely, what are you going to be doing during this lockdown, Pastor Sharon? I'm definitely going to be giving thanks. I have actually just marked thanks and thanksgiving in the whole book of Psalms. But let me just find Psalm 136 here. Psalm 136 here. Oh, give thanks. 
Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Verse 2, oh, give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Verse 3, oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. To him alone who does great wonders. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters. To him that made the great lights. Hallelujah. Absolutely marvelous. I will definitely be giving thanks to the Lord. And what else will I be doing? I will definitely be continuing to be fearing God. I will be fearing I will be praising, I will be worshiping, I will be praying, I will be declaring, I will be making progress. I'm definitely making spiritual progress. And I, I'm speaking like this to inspire you, um, to fire you, to activate you, to not just be in lockdown for nothing, but to make spiritual progress. So I will be fearing him, Psalm 128. 128, here it is. Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord, that walks in his ways, for you shall eat the labor of your hands and happy shall you be. In this time of lockdown, happy shall I be because I fear the Lord and it shall be well with thee. Your wife shall be as a fruitful vine, your children like olive plants, behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that fears the Lord or the woman. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion. You shall see the good. You shall see good all the days of your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'll be continuing to fear him. And I think the last thing I want to leave with you is I'm going to be laughing. I'm going to be laughing a lot. It's just something that I learned from Kenneth Hagin my spiritual father who is now with the Lord, he's part of the great cloud of witnesses. That whenever there were circumstances or things that would come against him, he would just laugh. And he would just start off going ha, 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 ha. When that spirit of fear, the enemy of our soul, our adversary, the devil would come against him. And he'd say, sometimes he'd hear the enemy say to him, what are you laughing at? your defeat, your defeat. I'm just laughing at your defeat. And that's what God does. He's created us to laugh at the enemy because God does that. Psalm 2 says, the kings set themselves against the Lord and they, they say, let us break their bands asunder and cast their cords of restraint from us. You know, the kings of the earth. And he that sits in the heavens laughs, shall laugh, shall laugh. God laughs. He's made us to be able to laugh. So that's quite a, a powerful thing when the enemy comes against you and you just go, ha, 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 ha. You know who's hearing it? Your heart is hearing you laugh. Your own spiritual ears are hearing you laugh. It's part of, instead of saying, I will not fear, it's another way of saying, I will not fear. Ha, 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 And so, I will definitely be laughing at this time. But I'm also going to be laughing just to be filled with joy. Because Psalm 126 says, when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Glory to God. So, when you think about me, that's what I'm going to be doing in this time of lockdown. I'm going to be reading his word and letting him unlock in this time of lockdown, unlock some precious treasures to me from his word and uh, I'm staying close to God and I'm praying I'm praying for you all and I know you're praying for us so 
God bless you. I just want to declare this over you. The Lord bless you and keep you heritage of faith family. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you all. Over and out. Bye. Thank you.